Long time no see, guys. Welcome back to the Barn Owl Project. Uh, it has been a while, hasn't it? Back two and a half weeks or so. I have a trash can over there. I wasn't just throwing trash around. I am sitting here, and I am trying to finish up my office. Uh, I don't think it's going to get done anytime soon. <laughs> Malibu, your windmill and little butts in the camera. Uh, we are getting back into the swing of things a lot and very quickly. I know it's been a while since I've done this and I'm kind of out of practice. And so forgive me if it's not perfect. We took a hiatus. I got a new family member. Uh, my sister did have her kid. Uh, overwhelmingly positive response to that video as well. In fact, it quickly became the most popular video on my channel. So thank you for everyone who supported and shared that. As you can tell, since the last time I did my vlog, it looks a little bit different in here. <laughs> and I will actually do a quick walk around uh, before this vlog is over to show you what all has changed. We are going to be a year into the project in just a few months and honestly I'm not as far along as I'd like to be. Uh, we, ha we had to do some setbacks in honor of the reboot of this channel or just the, uh, the resurgence of what I'm doing I have decided to kick it off with a bang and whenever I say bang I mean a big big bang. We are going to blow up a car for you guys. I was honestly contemplating how we were going to make the channel popular again, or, or how we were just going to get back into the swing of things. I, I've been MIA for quite a while. Uh, been taking some time off from the project, just to make sure I had all my ducks in a row here at my house, uh, in the project locally, uh, with, with issues in general. Again, got a niece. Congratulations to my sister. I am so happy for you. Uh, I absolutely love my new little niece. She is phenomenally awesome. Uh, but it's time to get back to the project. Things are starting to warm back up. You know, it's just time for a facelift. Time to reinvent the channel. I've got 60-some videos out. And I don't feel like I've accomplished much in them. I don't feel like they could have been as good. Or I don't feel like they are as good as they could have been. And so that's going to change. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go off the rails. And so I was like, oh man, what can I do to make this channel, you know, what I want it to actually be. What can I do to, to, to reinstate the Barn Owl Project as just kind of a fun-loving, crazy channel. Well, I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. I was like, you know, I like explosives a lot. I like cars. I like guns. I like motorcycles. What can I do to mix the things that I love together? We're going to blow up a car for you guys. Uh, I'm going to take the, the legal amount of explosives that I can use. We're going to take a car out to a, a secondary location. We're going to do our best to barrel roll it. And we are going to detonate it. And I mean detonated. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was concerned that, that things were getting stale in my life. I wasn't having the fun that I wanted to have. And that's sad. Uh, the channel kind of took a turn for the more serious viewers. And, and that's fine. I don't mind doing reviews and stuff like that. But I'm just a fun-loving guy. You know, I, I like to hang out and do fun stuff. I don't. I don't generally like to be all that serious. I can be, but this channel was created to give joy. It's not just the talking points that I do. It's not just the, the analytical side of my life. I am a very happy person by nature. I like to smile. I like to, to be joyful. And yeah, I rage and yell and scream and try to murder things. But for the most part, I'm a, I'm a very happy, joyous person. And so we're going to bring the fun back to the channel. And that's something I've wanted to do for a while, but I've been kind of... I've been failing 
uh, just flat out. Uh, I haven't I haven't clicked with what I wanted to do. I called up my buddy Ricky, and I was like, "Well, you want to get rid of that car, little piece of crap Toyota, and I want to blow it up. So let's go barrel roll it, wreck it, trash it, stick some explosives under it, send it to the moon." And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, another thing that's kind of going on is I'm back into ARs. I sold my prized AR, uh, which had my, my night optic and my suppressor on it. And I used it for, for cleaning up out at my hill. Bless you. I think it's time I, I just got back into kind of building guns again. And so I'm going to. Uh, I, I, I purchased a complete AR from my friend, and I like it. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, came with what I wanted. He actually had purchased an upper for it. It is the Radical Arms uh, in 300 blackout, 16 inch carbine length. And and I really love the. I don't know. I just I love the full handguard. I love everything about this gun or about this upper. Uh, didn't know much about the bolt carrier group, so I'm putting my own BCG back in it, which is here. I will be putting my own BCG back in it. The one that I ran in my old AR, I stuffed a uh, standard BCG in my prized one whenever I sold it. I told the guy he was okay with that. And basically what it started out its life as, the one that I purchased was a DPMS, which, I don't know, some people like them, some people don't, I don't have a problem with DPMS, I don't know about their uppers, uh, this one's been modified, someone put a uh, different gas block on it, they put a Blackhawk uh, quad rail on it, I don't like quad rails, never have, never will. I don't like having rails on my hand. I don't use rails on the bottom. I don't. I don't do anything on the bottom rail except for occasionally put a uh, bipod on there. And usually I just use shooting sticks. Not a huge fan of them. Uh, but it is. I will say it's more attractive than the factory furniture that you got from DPMS. And that's okay. Uh, I, I'll keep that up, or I'll put it on another project. Uh, from from what I've seen, the DPMS lower just a. Are we okay? Do you need to smell it some more? It's getting the seal of approval down here from Tactical Boo. Thank you. So, from all appearances, the uh, the DPMS lower is a pretty typical lower. It works. Uh, right now it's got the factory crap mil spec trigger in it. That's obviously going to go away. Never been a fan of, of crappy triggers. Uh, I don't really have a problem with the uh, grip on it right now. I'll probably change it. I, I have my Daniel Defense furniture, and I may throw the Daniel Defense furniture on there for, for probably one and only one reason, and it... Because my Daniel Defense furniture doesn't do that. Again, I, this is a three position, I believe. And it looks like... Yeah, three position stock. I guess it would be four position stock. And I don't have a problem with it. it. It works. I always have to pull them all the way out anyway because I'm a fairly large human. I got a long length of pull. Crap like this doesn't work for me. But I have my Daniel Defense furniture. And I think I'm going to go ahead and throw that back on there. Uh, on this lower. Because the lower, from, from what I've seen so far, I've been, I've been shooting them. It's... It's aight. It'll function. I don't really care about my lowers. They just carry the stamp. That's all I need. So yes, I'm back into ARs. I am throwing a new suppressor on it. Uh, if you guys have any suppressors that you know of or that you like or that you've had success with, let me know. Put it down in the comments. I, I'm always up for new suppressors. I just love them. So, so there's that. 
I guess now I'll just kind of give you a quick rock, walk around of the, the tiny little office here. Uh, I'll probably do some jump cuts just so you don't see things that aren't finished. I don't want you seeing out into my living room because I don't have a door back on this one yet. I'm going to throw a door up and get some soundproofing in here at some point. I've just been busy, dudes. I, I've been so freaking busy. It is what it is. All right. So, <laughs> as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff hanging around. These are the new barrels that I'm going to be trying for the Mossberg 500s. Got spare backpacks and stuff hanging up, spare bags that I use. Then, of course, the beautiful IH stool. I got five pounds of brass that I still need to go through. Ah, there's so much. I, I haven't sorted any of this yet, and so I need to go through all that. About five pounds there. Again, here's the ARs that I'm going to be working with for a while. Sorry about the shadows, is what it is. But this is what I'm going to be working on for a bit. Uh, again, throwing my BCG in there and, and doing that stuff. Another bag that I use. Uh, <laughs> look. You know what this is? That's Hootie and the Blowgun. <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible joke. As you know, I love International Harvester products, so I've got the lithographs up. Uh, just some fun stuff. Of course, my little outlets. Got a mess over here still. Have not got it done. Got range bags. Got my Cabela's bag. This is dope. That is an International Harvester trash can, which is just awesome. Little storage containers. Uh, got my little cabinet completely full up over here right now. Still working on it. Of course, got more scouts chilling over here. These are all pictures of ones that my family has owned. And of course, uh, the good friend who I lost this year is also pictured. Um, I got miscellaneous ammo in here. This is not my, my ammo storage unit. This is just for kind of stuff that I don't really use. Uh, stuff like... Okay, I actually do use that. That's BS. That's 300 blackout. But just like 22 shorts, some 9mm, uh, obviously 12 gauge ammo, 20 gauge. Don't use a lot of that. This is where I do all the editing from. Uh, Malibu decided I didn't need a computer anymore, so I am rocking off the laptop right now. What happens? Ah, I got lights. Oh, oh, I got lights. Blind me. Got the little cheap tripod. Crap that I haven't got done yet. And that's the office. Pretty small office, but it gets it done, dudes. And then, of course, more pretty Azars. Azars. And again, as we know, I'm not a huge fan of ARs. I tolerate them. Is what it is. That is the office right now. And it's going to have to do for now. Because I... I don't know. Oh my god, that is a close-up. I don't know. Good god, let me get my arm out there. It's going to have to do for now, dudes. Just is what it is. I, I tolerate it. Hopefully, uh, you guys will forgive me for being absent for so long. It is so good to be back. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, this is the Barn Owl Project. We are now finally getting warmed up. And we are going to do cool stuff for you guys. And, and I hope you come along for the party. Because you know I love you guys. You're, you're my best friends in the whole world. So please come along for the ride. Good luck. God bless. And I will see you dudes in the next video. Bye-bye.